it's getting more emotional all the time. You can imagine. Listen to this crowd, would you? You cannot say he didn't go out with all the class that he has shown us in 20 years. Probably the best player on this ice surface here in New York today. And the crowd stands and salutes 99. One more time. No, I can't believe it's 20 years. <laughs> You know, you kind of know as an athlete when it's time. And for me, it wasn't so much the games and practices and everything like that I loved. And I still miss it. But I knew that uh, I was going to have to put in a lot of hours in the off season to get ready for the next season. And I just physically and mentally knew that I wasn't up for that task. Consequently, I knew in my heart that it was the right thing to do to step aside. In a lot of ways, it was probably harder that day for other people than it was even for me. All right, man. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys for everything. <laughs> and so it was 20 years ago, on April 18, 1999, at Madison Square Garden, that Wayne Gretzky, one of the greatest ever, played his last game. Thank you, Wayne! Honestly, Wayne's last game, it's sadness for me. Like, I didn't want him to stop. You're losing the best player that maybe ever put on a pair of skates, so I think our hearts were kind of pained seeing him leave it because it is painful to give up something that you're so good at and that you love so much. This was a big deal. It was emotional for him and his family and for the fans. When he made the decision, he made it for all the right reasons. And it was, you know, his personal thought about the way his game was going and he was getting older and decided he just wanted to get out when he felt good. I think he felt in his heart it was over for him. And uh, you got to give him credit to, to walk away where I think everybody in the world probably thought he could have played another five years and, and still been an effective player. That whole day, I just was like, I wish this was an ending. I, I, I thought he could keep playing, and well, I knew he could keep playing, but uh, it was his decision. I remember saying that night, once he took off his sweater, nobody was gonna wear 99 again. In that final game, a 2-1 overtime loss to the Penguins on an emotional Sunday afternoon in New York, Gretzky earned an assist on a Brian Leach goal. Gretzky moves up. Beautiful setup. Goal! Beautiful setup by Gretzky, and the Rangers tie the game. His 2,857th and final regular season point in his remarkable NHL career. I think there was fans all across the country that had to take a gulp and say, wow, that was an amazing career that we got to witness firsthand. Wayne was the best player I had ever seen play the game, and I think most of the fans felt that. And appreciative of saying thank you to this great legendary player, he's the great one. That day, Gretzky drove to the rink with his dad, just as he had done so many times as a kid. The circle of hockey life complete. You know, my first game I ever went to, my dad drove me in the car, and I thought it'd be really cool. OK, my last game I'll drive with my dad, I'll drive him in the car. My dad kept tapping me on the knee, saying, you know, you can play one more year. <laughs> and I remember thinking, no, no, I'm not going to play one more year. This, this is it. As usual, Gretzky had thought out every detail of his retirement. In the final game, he changed sweaters throughout, used multiple sticks. He taped and cut down 40-plus sticks, numbered them, and gave each one of his teammates and all the staff on the team a stick, rotated them through warm-up and through the game. Who thinks of that? Unbelievable guy where it was, it was all about him, but he made it about everyone else. And that's why there's only one Wayne Gretzky. And, and that's why the game is so much better because of him. When it was finally over, there were tears of joy and sadness, feelings of disappointment and gratitude. Behind a good athlete, you have to have a great support system. And your family has to be there. And, and I've said this before, to be a good athlete, you have to be really selfish. Uh, the day before the game, the night before a game, the day of the game. And so all the responsibilities that go in, in the everyday household is left to your spouse and to, the, to your family. And you have to have that good core. That's just part of what makes Canada so special, the parents and the families that are behind it. 
And so in a lot of ways, it was tougher for my group in the sense that they weren't going to see me play again. And one of the things that they looked forward to, like fans, was going to the games to see me play because they knew how much joy it brought to me to be able to play in the National Hockey League. People ask me all the time, do you miss it? Of course. I mean, you do it your whole life. And so from that point of view, I miss it desperately. You know, it's a great part of my life, great memories, and life goes on.